My mama, if I had a nigga car, Addy, with his car in his garage, on Lil Steve, me and Cap sleeping in a trunk, gang, you in? On Steve, me and Fuck 12 sleeping in the trunk. We not doing no stealing nobody car game. Not the ops game. We sleeping in your trunk till you get in this bitch. I ain't go. <laughs> Y'all ain't into it, gang. I just had to say that though. I ain't gonna lie. Y'all funny as hell for that shit. Some shit. Basically, like, motherfuckers goofy. Fuck out of stealing this car phone. And we ain't do shit. Do shit to him. You know, yeah, I don't take it, Oh, crazy. You like you talk talk six, about the old block. Bitch, treat you like a straight bitch. Fuck, you yeah. got two bucks going out to be worried about L block. Yeah, with my, my fan, nothing ass, nigga. I'll tell you, goofy ass, ass, nigga. How you watching us? We Fuck you, a fan of Luzay? Hey? Bitch, yo. What's good, man? This kid, KO, man. Before we get into this, hit that like, hit that subscribe button. Y'all know what to do. Now, all of a sudden, Memo 600 and Bando KD into it, man. All because what y'all see at the beginning, Memo 600 speaking up on the situation as far as saying, like, if they they not real ops, Bando KD and Lil Zay Osama, if y'all pulling up, stealing cars, y'all ain't really into it with, with each other. You feel me? And uh, Bando KD and, them, and M Block ain't like that shit. They felt like folks was basically testing they gangsters, saying they weak and saying they ain't really on shit, they ain't going to do shit, basically. And you know how I get it in Chicago for everybody got to everybody feel like they the toughest, bro. Everybody feel like they the roughest, bro. Everybody got to prove a point is that's what's going on in my city right now, man. But yeah, man, I feel like Memo 600 should have just set, set this situation out and left it between Lil Zay Osama and Bando KD. Because Memo 600, fo, you always get mad when everybody else speak up on you and your situations. Anybody say your name, fo, you get to telling they business, you get to talking crazy to them, you get to going crazy on them, fo. So, so you jump in somebody else's business, fo, now you contradicting yourself, fo. You could have left that between him and Lil Zay Osama. Even if you did feel that way, you could have kept it to yourself, you feel me? You ain't have to jump into that shit, bro. Now you got yourself into some shit with these young hot niggas. For they, hey, memo, I, I know, I know you be in the trenches. I know you be out here, folks. But these boys out here every day, twenty four seven, shorty them hot, man. I ain't gonna laugh for memo. You, you probably a little too old for shorty them hot. For this ain't no dick riding shit. I told you, I ain't got no dog in this fight. I don't know any of you niggas. But at the end of the day, shorty them hot, man. They out here in them trenches, man. Every day, man. You didn't memo. You didn't got you a little bread, folks, so you could get put up for a little bit. You feel me? Shorty them look like they still in it all day every day <laughs> you feel me but yeah man but i don't you know i don't underestimate nobody you know what i'm saying but it's just still at the end of the day bro long story short i feel like memo 600 should have set this situation out you wouldn't even be in tour with these little young niggas man you know what i'm saying you already got enough on your plate as it is memo you got enough on your plate, folks. So I feel like on this situation, you shouldn't even spoke up on the Lil Zay Osama situation. And Bando, KD, and M Block, I feel like they shouldn't even be on there saying the shit that they saying. They talking about, oh, yeah, you don't see them bullet holes in that car. Come on, bro. What y'all be saying, folks? Man, they be talking federal, man. They money bag getting that money bag. Yo, federal, federal. Like, bro, that's the only thing I hear when y'all talk federal, federal. Folks, they be on there talking crazy. Man, bro. I guess the code of moving in silence, bro. Moving in silence ain't ain't it no more, bro. You know what I'm saying? But hey, it is what it is, bro. You learn as you go, man. You know what I'm saying? Me being in my thirties, bro, being out here and seeing how everything play out with life, bro, it never go as planned, bro. It always it turn out the crazy, unexpected way, bro. It get ugly. Sometimes it get greater. You feel me? But it's gonna get ugly while it's getting greater at the same time. Sometimes you feel me? So. Yeah, man. But long story short, man, Memo 600, Bando, KD, they got into it because Memo 600 spoke up on a situation basically saying him and Cap would have been laying in the trunk ready to kill if they was Lil Zay Ops. They would have been killed some instead of stealing a cop. You feel me? And Bando, KD, them felt like folks was testing their gangster, saying they ain't no shit. You feel me? And so they came at him. And the little shit like this that happened over the internet be leading to people losing their life. It's just goofy as hell, folks. But yeah, man. At the end of the day, man, both of y'all boys talented. How about y'all link up and do a song or something? Like, how about y'all do that for, like, damn, bro. It's just, we don't get it, bro. We don't get it. We don't know. We don't understand about working together in Chicago, for. We just understand bullshit. That's all we about, bullshit, for. But y'all leave y'all likes, leave comments. Let me know what y'all think about this situation, man. Hit that like, hit that subscribe button. It's the kid, K-Yo. Yeet, yeah, yeet. Yeah.